If you fear rejection, you'll find all things happening in other parts of your life. For instance, not only will you turn down opportunities, other people will also turn down your opportunities for you. A lot of times, you won't even see this happening. Steve Harrington and Stranger Things. Okay. When they rebooted Star Wars, my first audition ever in LA was for John oh. Boyega's role. Really? And I was so scared that I sat in the bathroom for like two hours. When you routinely withdraw from opportunities, other people take that as your baseline, then the people around you will perpetuate that belief. Behind your back, people might be saying, she turned down two already. She probably won't be interested in this one anyways. And I can justifiably say that these are like legitimately really tasty options for plant-based uh, food sources. So uh, you might be losing chances where you can actually shine. However, because you can't see it, you can't change it unless you change the baseline. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button so I know. This next reason is why some people are more anxious than others. This is because fear of rejection usually leads to some degree of feeling like you don't have control. There was one day in particular where the universe just decided to not work in my favor. And I'm like, what is going on? So one of our Bayesian crew members looks at me and says, that's poison tree sap and that's all over your arms. So when you fear rejection, you pretty much only have one choice, which is no. And because having one choice basically means no choice, you will feel like you have very little control over your life. I just think it has helped tenfold in, in every element. I mean, we do so much improv, so you know, whether it's sitting here in my living room and just kind of shooting the shit the night before work or, or whatever. So fearing rejection really has this tendency to kind of push you towards a corner. Another natural fear that usually goes hand in hand with this is the fear of success. You know, it's a reminder of the hard work that it's been over the past couple of years and being able to take a step back and say, okay, you know, like you deserve something like this or, or the value for the work that you've done. When you're really scared of rejection, what's even worse is having that opportunity that you feel like you do not deserve and then actually losing it. What people usually do is trying to hold on to that for their dear life, which isn't healthy, and then eventually losing it. Yo, he's being serious. Chase lived in the parking structure at Hollywood and Highland. For how long now? Um, it was off and on for about two months. Two months? It's not great. That fear really makes you overvalue any form of success. So when you do have that success, you're very afraid of losing it. This last part it might or might not be unexpected, but it means that you will have limited creativity. Because if you're operating in fear, usually you try to do what is right rather than trying to find the best solution. I do have another video on the relationship between feeling secure and creativity. When I got my hands on these and just the way they fit my face, I just thought they were a little different, but different enough to fit my style. I kind of like to uh, try new things all the time. And so, so you might find yourself being very comfortable with the skills that you already know, but anything outside of the box, not so much. This fear creates very little novelty and also cuts your desire to venture out. Whenever there are things that are forcing you to change, that usually comes at a huge shock. I'm full experimentation man. Um, I have tried everything under the sun. Um, you know, I've done, I did a juice cleanse like two weeks ago. This is because creativity is somewhat linked with flexibility and adaptability and also the mental limitations that you are placing on yourself. I'd love to know your thoughts on this topic. You can put it in the comments down below. And if you want to, you can also pick the other videos that are coming out on the screen.